Good morning, Lighthouse family. Yeah. It's wonderful to Thanks see you. Thanks for joining you. us today. So, so good glad. to see you. Yeah. I'm missing everyone. Me too. It's so too. sad. This is not very nice. But anyway. And it's chilly. It's chilly this morning. It's cold. very cold. Oh, my goodness. It was six degrees in Willowvale this morning down where Matt and Bridget live. How cold yeah, was that? Very, cold. very chilly. Anyway, we're all about to warm up, and I'm excited for that. Yeah. Coming into God's presence, singing and dancing. Yee-hee. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't up. wait till we all get together again. That's going to be so good. Yeah. It is going to be good. Can't yeah, wait. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to open with a scripture today as we come to worship the Lord. Are you ready to worship the Lord today? Amen. Uh, it says this in Isaiah 25 and verse 1. It says, Lord, you are my God. Let's Amen. declare that together. Lord, you, you are, are my, my God. God. I will exalt you. We're going to do that this morning. Amen. We will praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things. I love this last line. It says, things planned long ago. God has a plan Amen. for today, for your yes. life, for this service. Yeah. So we're excited. We're going to exalt Him and we're going to praise Him together. That's going to be so it's much no fun. It's no coincidence people are watching today, Ron. No, it's no. not. God had, a plan. God had a plan for you to Thanks join for us today. In. It's going to be amazing. We're going to sing a today. fun song. Yeah. Let go. Come get on. ready to dance get ready. and get sing up on and the shout. Couch. Woohoo! Sing Enjoy and shout God's this presence. I close my eyes and colors fly. Half a mile.
do exalt you this morning. Lord, we lift you up. We praise you. We honor you. We thank you, God. Your presence is with us today. It's so amazing. God, just to be a moment in your presence is, wow, it's just, it's just more than words can describe. And so, Lord, this morning, we just thank you for touching each and every heart. God, everyone who's tuned in today, God, we just be sensing how much you love us. God, as we've been worshiping you, your presence is, is filling our homes, our hearts, Lord, with your love and your grace. We pray today, God, uh, just for your will to be done in our lives, God, we just surrender afresh and say, God, have your way. Lead us, guide us, Lord, through this difficult time, we pray. Until we come back together, Lord, we ask that your presence will be felt by each and every one. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 That was beautiful. Wow. I'm Good job, team. It. Yeah. Such a peace that comes with God's presence. It's Wonderful a peace presence that just passes God. God. It does. It? Yes, it does. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so so amazing, God. Is well, God? my joy to tell you that we'll be standing by for a Zoom call at the end yeah. of this morning's service. That'll be good. Looking forward to catching it's up with everyone. See, if yeah, you, see faces. If you'd like to um, join us, we'd certainly love to have you join us at the um, at the end of the service, especially if you've never um, yeah. met Ron and I in person. Yeah, that'd be great. We'd love but to meet you. But even anyway, we don't mind. Yeah. We don't each, mind and say yeah. hi. We'd love to see you. Also want to let you know that we have an amazing range of small groups that are meeting by Zoom across the oh, yeah, city so good. on a Wednesday night. On a Wednesday night also we have a closed church group where it, which is available for teaching and worship. Yeah. And so if you'd Fellowship. like to be part of yeah. that, just send us an email and we'll connect you to our closed church page and you can be part of the Lighthouse family. We'd absolutely love that. Look, if you've got any prayer requests, please email us because we want to know about it. We want to pray for you. We might be distant as in not physically close, but our hearts are with you in every possible way. And you are part of a family that's believing for God's best. So if you've got a need, reach yeah, out to definitely us reach out. so that yeah. we can all be praying together to as pray an amazing you. family. Amen amen. amen, amen. Well, let's prepare our hearts this morning as we come around the communion table. Get your bread ready and, and your uh, juice. And just be uh, preparing our hearts today to receive from the Lord. Lord. We pray today, God, as we have, come around the communion table that you'll just meet with us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, one of the most amazing things is the love of God. And I've got a scripture for us today out of 1 John 4, verse 9 to 11. It says this, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. How good is this? This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an amazing sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. The thing that really rocked my world is when I came to God was that he loved me. Um, this, the creator of heaven and earth and, and everything that we see, this God loved me. My saviour, he loved me and he cared about me. And not only that, he, he didn't just love me, he actually did something. He came to give me life. And he came to give you life. And so today, as we look at this scripture, as we come around this communion table, you know, the Bible says that, you know, we were dead in our trespasses and sin. And I was dead. I didn't know I was dead in my sins and trespasses. But when I found God, man, I just came alive. The Bible says that um, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And he came and he gave me eternal life. And so as we come around this communion table this morning, we come around the love of God. This is actually a representation of his love, him coming, sending his only son to come and give us life. So as we partake of this communion table, we're partaking of life. We're partaking of the bread. We're partaking of, this, uh, of the wine here today. And as we do that, it's bringing us life. So let's pray Amen. today. Would you like to pray, lead us yeah, in prayer sure. in that this morning? Amen. Father, we just thank you that this is the most amazing table of love. Yeah. Yeah, love that we'll never comprehend. Yeah. But God, you went to the cross. You sent your son to die in our place because of the most radical love. The love yes. that brings us healing from the inside out. Yet it transforms us and it keeps transforming us more and more yes. and more until the day that we become like you. And we thank you that we're receiving of that grace that's transforming us as we partake thank of the table Lord. today in Jesus', Jesus name. name. As you partake of the bread. Yes.
the life of heaven is entering into your body. The same grace that brought you salvation is transforming you as you focus your Thank heart you, on Him yeah. today. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you that the life is in the blood now in Jesus' name. And yes. We thank you for everything that your blood represents. We partake of transforming life now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's Hallelujah. good, isn't it? He's love amazing. He, yeah. It's absolutely I don't know why people want to live without God. Amen. Why would you want to live without God's love? It's, I know. Anyway. It's amazing. Mm. All right, let's, uh, we're going to come to the offering now. which is our opportunity as part of our worship. It's probably one of the most important parts of our worship is our giving. Yeah. That our God's a giving God. And so today we get to give this morning of that which we have, that which God has blessed us with this week. We bring our tithes. If you're a member of this church, bring your tithes today. And uh, you can do that right online. You can just send that in. And um, there's many expenses. There's, there's lots going on. We want to stay uh, connected to our community and reaching out to families. We're doing that each and every day. And so um, your giving helps us to do that. So give offerings and uh, bring your tithes today as we do that. We uh, want to pray and thank the Lord and bless that today. It, there's just such a blessing that comes on our life when we do that. I've experienced that so many times in my life. So, Lord, we pray today as we come and we give, God, you're a giving God. And so, God, we want to come today according to your word and give uh, offerings today. God, we want to see people impacted, touched and changed um, by our giving today as we reach out in this place through Lighthouse Care, through Lighthouse Family Church. God, we just thank you for impacting lives. God, bless our giving today. Bless that which is give. Increase us, Lord. Multiply us. God, so that we have more to give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, let's do that Amen. online. That's just so good. And you know, awesome. Deb's going to come and share the word with us shortly. So that's going to be fantastic. Um, but uh, it's coming up right after this. Over 4 million Australians face food insecurity each year. What does this mean? It means everyday families, your neighbours or co-workers could be struggling to make ends meet. That's where we come in. In 2004, we saw the need our community was facing and started delivering bread door to door from the back of an old van. Today, we are reaching over half a million people every year through our grocery stores, community programs, wholesale, and our free trolley initiative, which has supported thousands of struggling families with good, healthy, fresh food and groceries, bringing hope and helping get through their tough situations. Lighthouse Care is a place where anyone can come in, regardless of their cultural background, appearance or financial status, and be treated equally with dignity, respect and get some desperately needed help. Please partner with us as we continue to be a shoulder to lean on when people need it the most. Well, hello all of my beautiful, beautiful, precious family. You know how much we're missing you and how much we love you. And, and today I really just want to encourage you that we're all in this journey together. And I know we're in the middle of a big, horrible storm together, but I'm, and I'm very aware that we're all in different boats. So as many of us today that are watching, we're all in different situations. And I'm very, very aware of that. Do you know what, for me, um, this coronavirus race is turning into a bit of a marathon and I'm actually a little bit over it, just saying. But you know what, we have to persist and we have to push on and we have to keep going. We can't give up and even though I'm sick of it and a bit tired of this whole craziness, I'd love you all to be here and give me a big hug. But anyway, um, there is something about an excitement that is beginning to grow in my heart and in my life. And there is some, I just believe God is up to something that's pretty spectacular. And there is just that sense of excitement in the middle of the frustration and all of that. But um, I just believe that the enemy is continually trying to attack our minds. And he tries to wear us down. And he's looking always for a way to take our focus off the Lord. And um, he's always up to no good, isn't he? He's always up to no good. 
And you know that his job is to rob, kill and destroy and that is all he is about. And don't ever think that it's okay to entertain the thoughts that he's trying subtly to sneak into your mind because those thoughts will never ever take you to a great destination. And if we let go and just let our mind run wild, it will automatically go in a negative direction. And it's just like if you leave your garden, weeds are going to be growing everywhere. That's happened to us, babe. We didn't do much gardening, and now we've got weeds running amok everywhere. And I just want to say that a negative outlook will never take your life in a positive direction. And it just doesn't work that way. And I also want to remind you that your life is always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. What are some of your strongest thoughts at the moment, Lighthouse family? Um, Now, I'm just wanting to, this, I'm wanting to encourage everyone each week, but Lighthouse family, it's time to stock take right now. What's happening in your thoughts? Are your thoughts driving you into God more? Or are they causing you to drift away from God? Because you're not here every Sunday with me and grandma giving you a loving kick up the butt each week. I hope you're staying in the right direction. Let me say right now, Lighthouse family, that you have come too far to turn back and drift. If you drift, you will going to float in the wrong direction. So swim, beautiful Lighthouse family. In this moment, swim. It's what you were designed for. You know, most of the battles are won and lost in our mind. And often the battle is between God's truth about you and the enemy's lies about you. And I'm telling you, beautiful family, choose God's truth. The enemy's targeting, the enemy's target is your mind and his weapon is his lies. Oh, well, you're not safe. You're going to catch this virus. Now, you should be washing your hand and you should be staying at home if you're not feeling well, but you should not be experiencing paralyzing fear. Yes, this virus is bad, supposedly, but I'm concerned about the real virus in this attack. It's not even corona, but it's fear fatigue and fatalism. And I believe that the enemy is wanting to release a spirit of fear in the world right now now to infect a generation. We see in our world that domestic violence is on the rise, alcoholism is on the rise, suicide is on the rise. Why? Because fear is on the rise. Hopelessness is on the rise. Fatigue, the exhaustion from the battle is on the rise. Fatalism is on the rise. What's the point? Why try? It's all too hard. Give up. No, there is a spirit of intimidation in this world, but we refuse to be intimidated, don't we, Lighthouse family? Amen. We refuse to be intimidated by a spirit of fear. Now, being negative and fearful may be easy. It might be an easy choice, but I'm telling you today, it's not the best choice for your life. It's so easy to lose perspective when you are weary and drained. And can I say being fearful is emotionally draining. It's exhausting to be fearful. And I often think about it as like a little dog in the, in the ocean for hours and hours, paddling and paddling and paddling with all of his little strength to keep his head up out of the water. And he gets exhausted and fatigued and, he, and he's so tired. Just from, And that's what fear does to us. It's like, I've got to keep my head above the water. And we get so exhausted and we get so drained and we get so tired, tired, so tired. And we live in a generation that has so much anxiety and depression. And I am not belittling, belittling it anyone because it's absolutely awful. But Church of God, we have the answer. Do you know the little saying that says fear? Fear is false evidence appearing real. That's all fear is. And you know what? 99% of the things that we are terrified by and fearful of never actually even happen. Do they? They really don't even happen. Yet fear has so much power. Fear brings us into bondage. Fear brings us into torment. Fear 
is contagious. It causes people to run away when they're supposed to be running into a battle. And the Bible tells us about that in the book of Deuteronomy 20 and verse 7. I've read it really, really tiny, wrote it actually, really tiny. So here goes. Um, If a man is fearful and faint-hearted, let him return to his house, lest his brother's heart fails also as well as his. So fear is contagious. If I get all panicky and flustered, especially as a mum in the house, especially as a dad in the house, if you get all fearful and panicked, it spreads onto the whole family. So fear is more contagious than maybe corona even. Who knows? But be careful that you don't let fear in the heart of you, the warrior, because it will literally not just cause you to be afraid, but it will cause your brothers also to faint. So fear is contagious and it wants to take you out and it wants to take those that are around you out. It really, really does. And fear is contagious, but I want to tell you there's something else that's contagious also, and that is faith. And did you know that anxiety is just a signal alerting you that it's time to pray? That's all anxiety is. In other words, if it's big enough for you to be worried about, then it's big enough for you to pray about. If it's on your mind, then it's on God's heart. Do you know Philippians 4 and verse 6 says, Be anxious about nothing, but in every situation, take your request to God. The Message Bible says it this way, Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayer. Letting God know of all of your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness is coming into everything to work together for good. It will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. So whatever you are anxious about today or fearful about, it's just a signal alerting you that it's time to be praying. See, sometimes our faith is not in God, not in the Lighthouse family. We would never be like that, but I've heard it happens in other places, you know. But sometimes our faith is not in God, but our faith is actually in the worst possible case scenario. It's like it's bad and it's going to get worse. We have to fight against worry in our mind. What is worry? Someone said that worry is the sin of distrusting the promises and the power of God. So worry is placing my faith in the worst possible scenario rather than in the goodness of God. God knows what you need and he is so able to meet all of your needs today. Being negative is an easy choice, but it's not the best choice for you. If you seek what is good, you will see what is good. Let's embrace the way that we were created to live and stay positive. Your life, um, in your life, is often a reflection of your thoughts that you think. What is your life like? I want to say what consumes your mind consumes your life or controls your life. What consumes your mind will control your life. And optimism isn't a state of affairs. It is a state of mind. Optimism is the unwavering expectation that our loving God is working in every situation for the future good for you. That's what optimism in Romans 8 and 28 says. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. Well, Debbie, that's just way too much work. I know it's a bit of work, but the results are absolutely worth it. The results are worth it. And I heard a statement that everybody wants to shine, but nobody wants to polish. We're all polishing is hard work, but it's the only way to shine. 
weeding a garden is hard work. Mum and I and, and my dear friend Dulcie, we were all in the garden and it's hard work. We were exhausted after a couple of hours, but it's hard work keeping your yard looking peaceful and beautiful and neat and tidy. But keeping your mind focused on God is hard work. Yes, it is hard work sometimes, but I want to say that it is worth all of the effort that it takes. Amen. And I love this verse in Isaiah 26 and verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Did you know that you can live a life of full peace? Isn't that amazing? Um, how can we live a life of full peace? It's by having your mind steadfast and rock solid on the Lord. And it says by trusting in God. So just trusting God that He is working for your good is a way that you can have perfect peace in your life. What an amazing gift. What an amazing Father that if we just focus on Him, we can have perfect peace in our life. If you've got anxiety... Remember, it's just an alert that it's time to pray. If you are worried, stop believing in the worst possible case scenario and trust the promises and power of God. If you are facing something that you don't understand, choose to trust God. Remember all that he's done for, his, for you. His ways are so much higher than your ways and my ways. See, when we realize that God is for you, you won't fear what happens to you because you know he is working in you. Psalm 43 and verse 5 says, Why, why, soul, are you downcast? Why are you disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. With God there is always a way. Or is it a go Sorry, David went on to say, For yet will I praise him, my Saviour and my God. No matter what I see, I choose faith. When I don't see a way, I know that God is always working for me and there is always a way. Even in the waiting, I still believe that God is good. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 6 says, be strong. That's you, Lighthouse family. Be courageous. That's you, Lighthouse. Don't be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you and he will never forsake you or leave you. Yes, faith is contagious. Yes, fear is contagious. But faith is way more contagious. In this generation in which we live, God wants a radical, fearless, bold generation to arise in the earth. And we must get around the right voices, voices that cause us to rise up to the purposes of heaven and begin to accomplish the plan that God has in mind. There is a virus in the church worldwide, and it's a virus like a virus that gets into our computer and it causes our computer to freeze. It wants to shut down the voice. There is a virus that's wanting to shut down the voice of the church in this day, just like it shuts down your computer. But, and God wants to deal with the spirit of fatalism in the church that what sometimes creeps in to the church and it says, oh, well, it's the end times. We can't make a difference. Things are just going to get worse and worse. It's just the way it's going to be. No, God has always had the church engage in times of crisis, engage to make a difference, to release the spirit of awakening in a revival in different, different times. Fatigue in your heart might be saying, the strength of the laborers is failing because it's all too hard, it's too much, and it doesn't look like it can be done. But God says to you, no, if you will wait on me, 
I will refresh you and you will soar like an eagle. You're going to get God's perspective. The Lord has been showing Selena that in our um, intercessors meeting so powerfully. God is bringing his church into level to see his perspective on everything. And this is the antidote to a virus that the enemy is trying to bring on into the earth. When facing battles, we don't have to be afraid or discouraged because we have a far greater power on our side. We have the plan of God who fights for our battles. In 2 Chronicles 32 and verse 8, it says, um, He may have a great army, but they are merely men. I've lost my place again. Where was I? But we have the Lord God to help us and fight our battles for us. A powerful, loving Father, a supernatural God will help us fight our battles. The key to being free from fear in this time is to be full of faith in these times. Colossians 3 and verse 2, it says, set your mind on things that are above, the things of heaven. Keep your mind on things of heaven, not on the things of earth. You can trust in a good and powerful and loving God who's always looking for your good. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, today, that you are in charge. And people of God, you take charge. Jesus is helping you take charge of your thinking. Take charge, people of God, of your emotions as we focus on God and His faithfulness and His purpose and His plan. God is for you. He is in love with you. He is the true source of peace and comfort. He is the source of hope. He is head over heels in love with you, beautiful Lighthouse family. And the best that you can do is open up your heart to Him and love Him back. If you're ready to experience the hope and love of Jesus, I invite you just to pray a simple prayer with me today because His love is going to come into your heart. His hope is going to come into your heart. You're just going to have a realization from the inside that God is for you. He's taking care of you and you can let go of all stress and all worry. Why don't you pray with me now? If you want to pray after me, that would be lovely. Thank you. Dear Jesus, I invite you into my life. Forgive me and wash me. Clean me from all of my sins. I make you the boss of my life. Change me, transform me, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you prayed that and you meant that with all of your heart, won't you email us? Email Lighthouse Family Church. Ron and I will be excited to receive your email and to celebrate this great decision with you. We want to walk with you on this journey of life as we, as we come together and work together. Uh, with you to, to help you discover the most amazing love that you'll ever, ever know. Put a hand emoji up right now so we can see you and someone from our team will reach out to you with love. And Church of God, be encouraged. These are our greatest moments. Not a time to be fearful, time to be full of faith. Amen. If you've got prayer requests, reach out to us. I've asked the beautiful Nina and her lovely dad, Tama, to come and sing one of my most favorite songs in the whole world. And you'll just realize that they sing it so amazingly. And the song's called Falling in Love with Jesus. It's the best thing you'll ever do. And I promise you that falling in love with him, you'll find peace. You'll just find wholeness and healing from the inside out. Falling in love with him is the very, very best thing that you can do. Now just sit back, relax, and let God's love sweep right over you because it's the best thing you'll ever do. I'm falling in love with Jesus. I'm falling in love with Jesus.
beautiful was wow. that oh my gosh wow wish i could sing like that babe that is so amazing i could try but I, it wouldn't be good <laughs> oh falling in love with jesus, jesus. it's the best thing you'll ever do beautiful family beautiful friend the best thing that you'll ever do i so love that song that's so true and they sing it so beautifully i love those chords from nina oh, yeah. oh my gosh i'm a keyboard player i love those chords beautiful 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 love all of that song so precious but falling in love with jesus my friend is the very best thing you'll ever ever do you know it's just like relaxing and opening your heart Ron, isn't yeah, it yeah religious. you know like you think oh fall in love. but if you relax and open your heart his love comes in and it transforms you from the inside out it's the best thing best. that you'll ever best. ever do amen and if you made that decision please email us Put a hand emoji up, something so that we know, because we want to contact you, you, we want to celebrate with you, and we want to do the journey together with you. Amen. Amen. Well, great message today. Great Thank message, you, church. Yeah. I, I just took one note here. Well, I took oh. many, but I got one. Okay. It says, uh, the key to be free from fear is to be full of faith. Amen. So there's the key. It's actually quite easy. Yeah. Just, just choosing. Yourself with faith this yeah, week. choosing yeah. to believe what God says about you. But he's got you. Yeah, he's yeah. got us. Yeah, and anxiety uh, is just it's time to pray. That's yeah. all anxiety is. Hey, time to pray. Amen, because yeah, he, he's going to carry it for you. Awesome. All right, let's pray. Uh, we want to pray a blessing over you and um, uh, love you guys. Can't wait to work together again. But let's pray. Father, thank you for uh, your church. That's the thing you said you would build and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. Lord, I thank you. This week, as we go into this week, God, whatever we're facing, God, I thank you that we will not fear, but we'll be full of faith. God, believing that you are able to do and take care of us in every situation and every way. 
So Lord, we pray favour and blessing over your people, Lord, as we go into this week, go until we're again next week. We pray your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, from all of us at the Lighthouse Family Church today, yeah. from our three locations, yep, yep, yep. in the church, from the second location, our so technical weird, location, yeah. and then from our director, um, Josh in Sydney. Sydney. Bye, from, bye to everybody. Bye, Be blessed, guys. everybody. We love you. Love Stay you faith. So much. Email us. We're looking for you. We want to pray with you. Yeah. We're going to be on Zoom right now. Come and join us. Stay safe. We love you. Stay in faith. Amen. We love you. God bless. Amen. The eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny this heart for mine.